Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our speed and gear calibration we're gonna be doing in our Fuel Tech Manager software. Now, when we're gonna be working with something like our boost control or our traction control, it's gonna be relying on our speed sensor is gonna be calibrated correctly. So whether we're gonna be just looking at our vehicle speed and our transmission or our wheel speeds, we need to go through the calibration process so it's gonna be accurately tracking our speed of our vehicle. Now, if we're working with traction control, it's gonna be comparing the driven and undriven wheel and calculating the slip between those. And it's vitally important that they're gonna be having the exact same reading when we're just doing normal steady state driving and we have no actual slip going on because if they aren't, the slip calculations will be all thrown off and if we're trying to dial that in, it will simply not work correctly. Now, if we're also using our boost control for things like speed-based boost or gear-based boost, it's not gonna have that functionality. It's not gonna be working right. Everything's gonna be thrown off. So we're gonna go over how to calibrate them in this video. It's a fairly simple process. So when we move into the next couple videos in our training course, working with those features and functions, everything's gonna be set up and we're gonna be ready to go. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna take a look at setting up our speed sensors and our gear detection in our Fuel Tech Manager software. We're gonna need these features for the upcoming videos for traction control and for boost control. We're going to need to make sure that we have both of them reading correctly. So we're gonna get them out of the way right now so we can move into those videos and not have to focus on these small details. So the first thing we'll do here is to set up our gear detection so it knows when we're going and shifting into the next gear. Uh, we'll find that we have to jump in here to the map options. We're gonna move in here to the sensors and calibration. We'll find here we have our gear change detection. We need to make sure this is gonna be checked. That's gonna be populating an actual uh, setup window here under our sensors and calibration tab. Now we do have in this file here under the fuel and ignition, we have our gear-based compensations and the gear change compensation. These tables are gonna be already clicked on and set up, but they're not gonna do anything until we actually click on here. Gear change detection, it actually can calculate what the gear is doing based on a couple different methods that we're gonna have available. So let's go here and check this on. When we check this on here, we actually have to click off the screen and then we're gonna find the gear change detection here pops up in our window list. So we'll click on this. Now when we're in here, we have a bunch of options. So let's go over the, probably the easiest option to set up detecting your gear for a drag vehicle. So right now it's gonna be set here on default, detection type, RPM drop. Now the RPM drop is gonna be looking at the engine RPM that's gonna be dropping between shifts. This is gonna be really neat because you don't have to wire in a speed sensor. So you don't have to wire in a drive shaft speed, you don't have to wire individual wheel speeds. So on a, on a race car that you don't wanna to have to deal with that, this will work just fine as long as we go and set this up properly. Now, the first couple of things we need to know here, we have a detection block after launch. This is only gonna function and work if we have a launch control or two-step feature utilized. If we're not using a two-step. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.